I'd like to show you the project plan that I've developed for today. So uh, first, I'm deploying a new server that I call Server Production 12. Yeah, I'm actually using 12 servers right now in my entire deployment, 11 systems in my home lab, and the 12th one will be on the hosting infrastructure that I give a fully qualified domain name, serverproduction12.cloud.clgrave.de. So because I'd like to differentiate my home environment from the public cloud environment that I'm going to set up. Also, I will install a pre-built image on the hosting of VPS that is running Docker. So this is a Linux distribution based on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. So this is what I will use to host my new website, christianlemper.de. So that will be the final name later when I'm done with all of the web projects. And we're also throwing traffic reverse proxy in the mix. So this is also a free and open source project you can easily deploy in a Docker container. And this acts like a reverse proxy for all of your projects that you're deploying. So you can easily just forward any incoming requests using trusted uh, TLS certificates and encrypted HTTPS connections. So when somebody opens the website in the browser, it will usually initiate an encrypted connection using HTTPS that requires TLS certificates. And the traffic reverse proxy will terminate the TLS connection to the client, initiate a secure connection, and then forward those network requests or those HTTP requests to the actual unprotected web server. And this will be inside a local Docker network so I think this is a very secure and comfortable way to expose any websites to the public internet and make sure that my websites are all secured and the data connection is encrypted. Now, what we also need for issuing the TLS certificates, as you might know, is a, a public domain that I'm managing on my public DNS provider Cloudflare. So this is also where the DNS requests go to when somebody tries to um, resolve the IP address for christianlamper.de. This request goes to Cloudflare and Cloudflare will respond with the IP address of my public uh, cloud server. And then the user can initiate a new HTTPS connection to that IP address where traffic will pick up the request. 